Have you allowed yourself to imagine what this is going to be like next year? You know what? I was able to imagine it this Saturday at the Rugby World Cup final. You know, and it, actually I was sitting down here with the full stadium and the incredible atmosphere, obviously the brilliant rugby. And yeah, I did allow myself that moment to picture this. What was that like? Special, special, because it's my home country, right? And I saw how passionate the New Zealanders are, you know, about, about the rugby. And, you know, the Women's World Cup is absolutely massive. And I can't wait for them to experience that as well. Do you think New Zealanders realise how big this is going to be? <laughs> I don't think so, no. It is the single biggest female sporting event in the world. You know, it far outstrips the men's rugby world cup in terms of viewership, attendance. It's big. You know, in France four years ago we had 1.1 million people filling the stadiums there. And we're aiming for a broadcast viewership next year of 2 billion people. It's big. Why do you think New Zealanders don't realise how big it is? I just think that we're not a traditional football country, you know. Um, I'm living in Europe now and, you know, every country in Europe, they live and breathe it. You can feel it. It's tangible in the air there. And we're like that, but we're like that for rugby, right? Um, we've got a big, big grassroots community in football here, but I just think at that elite level, there's not quite that same passion for it. So I just think it's that, but I think that'll change after the World Cup next year. You have been here for the Rugby World Cup. What yeah. do you think worked well? You know what worked the best? The players. Incredible ambassadors for women's sports. Like, how amazing were they? Just the authenticity. You know, every time I saw a media interview, uh, they all speak so well. They're so articulate. You know, they're passionate. Uh, but most of all, they're just themselves. They're just themselves. And it's so relatable. And the country has fallen in love with them. So I think that, you know, the players as ambassadors was an incredible, incredible part of it. I also think the way that they've wrapped uh, the Māori culture into it as well, incredible. You know, the poise, that is such a unique and amazing thing that is only in New Zealand. And I thought they did that really well as well. Are you going to bring the poise to the Oh yeah. <laughs> I have said to my colleagues in World Rugby, you know, we're going to steal that idea, right? <laughs> we'll steal it and we might even do it a little bit better. <laughs> Obviously, the advantage that rugby had, though, is that rugby is so big with the New Zealanders oh, yeah. and the Black Ferns were always going to be a good chance. The football yeah. Ferns potentially won't be going as far. Yeah. How do you make sure New Zealanders engage with the Football World yeah. Cup when the football Ferns aren't doing as well? Yeah, you know what? It's about all the other teams that are coming. You know, it's a 32-team tournament. We've already got uh, the USA drawn here to New Zealand. That is some of the world's biggest superstars in football. You know, we're talking Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino. There are some incredible players that are going to be here uh, on our shores. And that in itself is just a big draw card. But also it's about being part of a moment. You know, going to a Football World Cup is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I think it's one of those moments where if you weren't in the stadium, you weren't watching one of the matches or you weren't part of it in some way, you'll regret it afterwards looking back. What did Rugby World Cup potentially not do as well that you'd like to do? Oh. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, I wasn't here for the entire tournament, just the opening and the closing, and both of those were, you know, really incredible. Um, I wouldn't like to say that I saw anything that was too... I mean, I thought they engaged very well with uh, the different regions. I mean, some of the stuff I saw on TV where the teams, especially the Black Ferns, were going out to some really kind of far off places for their training camps and the community engagement has been incredible, yeah. So for me, it's just about, you know, what can we take that was successful and, and utilise that for, for our tournament. Is there anything in particular that you saw from them that you thought, other than the poise, mm. that's genius, I want to do that as well? Yeah. I think that community engagement, you know, with communities that they maybe don't have a host stadium or a stadium that's hosting matches, uh, but they're still engaged by the team going and training there, you know, visiting, and not just the Black Ferns, but the international stars as well. Like, it was so cool to just be walking around in Auckland and, and see some of the French players or see some of the English players 
and they're so engaging. You know, you just say hi to them in the street, they'll stop, they'll have a chat to you. So I think it's, it's just about having the World Cup in our community and allowing New Zealanders to feel part of it and to feel that connection to it. So Megan Rapino could be walking down the main street of Palmerston North, for example. <laughs> could be. <laughs> Absolutely, she could be. You know, you never know. <laughs> How is preparation going? Yeah, really well, really well. Uh, I think we've got less than nine months to go now. The first, uh, the first match kicks off here on the 20th of July, um, but the, the preparations are going really well. It's a mega event, to be fair, you know, across two countries, Australia and New Zealand. It's the first one here in the Southern Hemisphere, um, but the preparation is going well, and we've got a beautiful lead-in. I mean, the Cricket World Cup, the Women's Rugby World Cup, We've got the IWG World Conference, the eighth edition of that, which is happening at the moment in Auckland. Um, it's just an incredible lead-in for us. A big um, engagement with the Rugby World Cup was the halftime entertainment, for oh, yeah. example. Are we going to see many concerts, for example? Yeah, we'll see World some Cup? cool stuff. We'll see some cool stuff. I can't reveal too much Anything right you now, can tell but me? there'll be. <laughs> I'll just say that the fans will be very entertained. Brilliant. Thank you so much.